Hi, today I wrote a guide on how to send multiple emails via a mail merge using <coughs> Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Word and a list from Microsoft Excel. The, the guide itself, um, there's a link on the video description, but what I've decided to do is, um, is use a, create a video, which I'm doing right now, um, that basically shows what the, the process is of, of creating that email merge itself. Um, so I'm going to close down this guide and I'm going to show you a couple of things. What I've done is created the Excel mailing list, which is a list of people who I would like to receive the email. I've added in um, a field of unique data I want to include in each mail, and then the email address of each person that the mail is going to. Separate from that, I have created the uh, email message that I'd like to send to them which is here, but um, what I'm going to do is, this list is quite small, it's only three people, but if we can imagine that 300 people, then you can see that this would be a worthwhile task. So what we're going to do is, is use the Christmas letter that I've drafted here, um, we're going to merge it and, and have it send an email to these guys here. Prior to doing that, it's important that you set your email account up in Microsoft Outlook and ensure that the email address you would like the mail to come from is your default one. Now I'm using Outlook 2010, it's similar in 2007. Um, if I go to account settings then you can see that my Gmail is uh, it'll send from this dev by default which I knew it was going to do anyway because I only have one account but if I had three, maybe four accounts, then I would have to select the the email account that, um, that I would like the mails to come from and set that as a default. My guide does say a way to test that is just to draft yourself an email um, and see where it comes from. So for this process, we don't actually need Outlook open. We don't need the Excel list open. We can actually do everything directly from Microsoft Word. So I'm going to open Word just now. And I've got the message template, <laughs> excuse me, I've got the message template here that um, I'd like to use. What I'm going to do is use the merge and I'm going to put the person's first name in here and I'm going to put in the, the bonus payment, the value in here. And then we're going to send this email automatically to people based on the email address they have in the Excel list. So to begin with, we're going to go to the mailings tab and we're going to say start mail merge and we're going to select email messages ok now we're going to do select recipients and select the option for use existing list I'm going to browse to the desktop and I'm going to select the list that I created the mailing list so it's given us a couple of options here. First of all, we have to pick the sheet that the data is on. So it's all on sheet one for mine. And then I'm going to check this box here for the first row of data contains column headers, which if I open my list, um, sweet, okay. then you can see that the, the, the first row does contain column headers. And you can see I've got another two sheets here, but they're blank. Let's go to say OK. Now, a part that's missing from my guide that I want to specify in a video is at this point in time we can actually decide who from the list we'd like to send the mail to. So if I press the Edit Recipient List button, then it shows you automatically the three people it's picked up from my list. If I decided at this point that Stephen Jones wasn't to get the email message, then I can uncheck him from this box here. But we're quite happy to do go ahead that. And uh, on this screen here, you can enlarge it for larger spreadsheets like this and you can sort it and filter it as you need to. I'm just going to say OK. Now I want to put the, the first name in here so I'm going to do DIA and I'm going to go to insert merge field and on the lower half of the insert merge field button I'm going to select first name and then at this point here I want to add the uh, the value itself. So I'm going to do insert merge field and select the Christmas bonus. Now 
I've deliberately left out the pound symbol and the, the full stop at the end of it. But I'm going to show you just why in a moment. So what we can actually do now is, um, is see how that's going to look when it goes to people. I'm just going to shrink the window down a little bit. So we can press preview results. And that shows us how that's going to look. And we can press this button here to view the next records. So we're quite happy with that. I'm going to just preview results again. And just before the Christmas bonus, I'm going to insert a pound symbol. And after that, I'm going to add a full stop. And just after the first name, I'm going to add a comma. And if I do preview results again, I'm much happier with the way that that looks now. And it's a good idea to, to run through a little bit because sometimes you do pick up mistakes. I've only got three records because this is a sample, but in a bigger list you should run through and, and check um, that the rest of them look okay. I'm just going to check preview results again to turn that off. Now I'm going to go and send the email message. I'm, I'm happy to go with that. So to do that I'm going to select finish and merge. And I'm going to select the option for send email messages. At this point it's asking who the message is going to. And you can see that that's picking up the fields from my list. And it's assumed that the email address is the correct one. So I'm not going to change that. The subject line, we can put in Christmas bonus. Um, it's worth mentioning at this point in time that the subject line, we can't add in a merge field here. So I know that some merge applications, you can have um, like first name in there. So you could have, you know, John's Christmas bonus as a subject, but uh, Microsoft Word doesn't support that. Um, mail format, HTML. So you have HTML or plain text. Um, and then we're going to say send all. And when I press OK, it's going to send those email messages. And that's all that's required, so I'm just going to close that down just now. Um, I'll open it, look. And you can see if I very quickly click on my outbox, you can see the three email messages are sitting there. And that's the three of them sent. Again, it's a bad example, three people. This is just a demonstration, but if it had been 300 or 3,000 people, then it would save a lot of time. If you are using um, a free email supplier, like I use Google Mail, you may find that it's capped. Um, it's the same in any environment. I know that some companies and businesses behave the same way. Um, you can only send so many messages within a set period of time to, you know, as a spam filter. Um, just something to be cautious of. But that's all that's required. Um, go ahead and give it a shot. The guide is on blog. Um, so my blog is, is linked, the guide is linked on my blog. Um, you can use that. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can comment on the video, you can comment on the blog post at the bottom, or you can contact me through my YouTube channel or my blog. Thanks for watching.